Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride, and today we are inside the studio of world-famous automotive artist and sculptor, Paul Nessa. Paul, thanks for having us in your studio. Today. You're welcome. Pleasure. Paul, wow. First of all, <laughs> what a place to be. Uh, just beautiful work. I understand that you discovered uh, uh, not only your, your love for sculpture, but your love of automotive sculpture in college. Because you, you were an art major. Yes, but, yes, but I had the two interests. I was interested in cars, obsessed with them. Mm -hmm. And then in college, I was obsessed with art. I didn't think about putting the two together. But uh, the first automotive-related piece I did was a portrait in bronze mm -hmm. of Mario Andretti for uh, a friend who owned a really nice body shop, and he did the paint job on my Healy restoration oh. 35 years ago for, uh, in exchange for yeah, that it's the same, bronze. Yeah, it's an exchange. Yeah. It's a good deal for both. Yeah. And so it started with portraits, and then uh, the car thing started... Uh, by way of a, another friend who he'd known that I'd done Donald Healy, uh, a portrait. Mm -hmm. And he had arranged to have me do a portrait of Zora Duntov. And the life-size portrait of Zora Duntov, one of the two that were made, is in the Corvette, Corvette Museum. Right. And once I'd done that, then Bloomington Gold, which is the Concours, they really set the standard for any single make Concours anywhere. And they wanted me to do a Grand Sport Corvette with Zora Duntov standing next to the car. I turned it down for a few times and then decided I'd give it a try. And they had an unveiling at Bloomington Gold that year. And on the stage, they had uh, an actual Grand Sport, one of the five, with Zora, and, and then the sculpture. And so when the curtains went up, then that was there, and I sold enough of the bronzes that, that day to cover me for the next year, and the expenses of going and doing Carroll Shelby in Los Angeles with a cobra in front of his house. So that's, that's how it got going. You have done some sculptures for some very, very famous people. We talked about Carol Shelby. Uh, who were some of the other ones that you've sculpted for that people might recognize? The, the, the drivers that I've been involved with uh, have been Donald Healy, Carol Shelby, Zora Duntoff, Phil Hill, Mario Andretti. Wow. Probably the, the fellow I became closest with was Rennie Dreyfus. And Sterling Moss, I got to know pretty well. This is where you work. This is where your creative process and it starts to flow. Right. Some of the uh, artwork that we see on the car was produced here in your studio. Yep. Um, so um, let's, let's just start with some of your work that's right. Sure. Uh, tell us about this one. This was a, a commission from a French fellow who... Uh, has a reproduction of a Grand Sport. He doesn't have one of the original cars. But uh, uh, I've done uh, him with his car. It's not complete now. There's some pieces yet to go on it. This is the Acuria Cost car, so it'll be a metallic blue, a okay. beautiful shade of blue. And uh, the racetrack, I took various pits mm -hmm. because there were certain pieces that had to work and others wouldn't like Le Mans is double that height. Mm -hmm. That'd be a bit much. Right. Um, but a lot of this is Donington and the car did run at Donington. So appropriate. Right. It's missing the people that are being cast right now at the foundry. This is all bronze at the moment. These are photographs of the actual car. This happens to have the owner who's going to be pouring the fuel into the car. Yes, this is a really good example because you can see the, the, all the fuel container sitting there. The only thing that's missing is the owner, which you are going to sculpt. Yeah, there's a color one too. Okay, so here's another one. And I mean, 
Well, it's just amazing. The ability it takes to go from looking at this to replicating it like that. Move over Beethoven. <laughs> Once I've got the figures in, then all of these accoutrements will be uh, placed and then I'll weld it so that it's fixed. But right now, all of those things are choices. Talk us through the process. Yeah, how, you know, how long does it take to make create something like this? The deal I have now with clients is that I tell them whether or not I'm interested in doing the commission. Mm -hmm. I take a deposit only when I start. And it can take up to two years. You can understand how much work Paul has to put in. This is why it takes months. six months to, to, you know, to yeah. two years. Yeah. What is the process? Because here's a bronze piece. Yes. It's bronze. But how do you start? The day one, you pick up the picture, you look at it. What's the first piece of material that you pick up and start molding or making? Uh, I start with clay. I start with the wheels and I make a wheel pattern. And then I make a mold of that, make a wax, sculpt detail that's missing uh, from the, the original round pattern. And then uh, make another mold. Now I've got a set of wheels. And there's a slight reduction in every step. Correct. So you've, that's why I want to get the wheel done spot on. And then the car, everything gets scaled from that point on. So you showed me this picture earlier. And this is a picture that you took. And then you went kind of from there to making the, um, you know, the, the clay mold and, and making this piece back here. Okay? The car that you're selling, uh, you have several art pieces that you've created that are on that car. Uh, would you be able to show us some of the, the clay uh, or the wax parts that you sure. made for that car sure. and the bolt? That would be awesome. Okay. Uh, the most obvious is the hood ornament. This was called the Tiger. As soon as I saw this, I happened across this. As soon as I saw it, I knew this is actually a better shot. I knew that this was the beginning point for the Jaguar. I looked into it, and what I surmise is that Lyons, Lord Lyons, head of Jaguar, uh, bought the rights to use this mascot on his cars. And he had... Uh, Casimir Blau, the sculptor, alter the deco design, smooth it out, and did it in a, uh, a rendition that Jaguar could use. I took these and I, I was able to gain photographs in a variety of views. And then I sculpted this one. Uh, this is a wax pattern. And this is uh, my rendition in the scale that I wanted. Uh, for my SS. I did this, then this is the wax pattern, okay. so this has to go through the process. This is one that I made for the studio. It's a bronze patina, and uh, but it I've had it on the car as well, right. just for the fun of change. And, and you do have one on the car, correct? Yes, the one on the car is nickel-plated. Yeah. I couldn't have dreamed of a better career. I couldn't have dreamed up this career. It, it happened, <laughs> but I, I... Somehow you landed in the boots. Yeah, I, I would never have dreamed of joining the two. <laughs> <laughs>